Hi everyone, my name is Jenny Duflemis and this is my analysis of music-based intervention for improving reading skills in children with dyslexia and related reading disabilities. I will first introduce myself. I am a French music therapist, a Korean certified music therapist, a neurologic music therapy fellow and a music therapy doctorate student at Iwa Women's University in Seoul, South Korea. Reading and writing are considered the highest levels of language development. Reading is very important for the child to acquire because it represents a major factor of the child's academic success. Reading difficulties are linked to various factors such as poor stimulating environment, poor knowledge of the language, auditory or visual impairments, psychological and neurological factors. However, dyslexia is a neurodevelopmental specific learning disorder that affects reading skills, particularly in word reading accuracy, reading fluency and reading comprehension. Previous studies reported the use of music as an essential tool in the treatment of children with dyslexia. Indeed, during the last decade, the research trend went from melodic interventions to work on phonological awareness, to rhythmic interventions to work on temporal processing deficit of this population. Music-based interventions are difficult to describe due to the complex characteristics of the musical stimuli. As music isn't just music, but a complexity of stimulating elements such as pitch, timbre, tempo, harmony, and also a complexity of experiences like live music making or music listening. Music has a variety of factors and purposes that cannot just be reduced to the title of music intervention, but should be defined. However, the use of music as well as the terminologies used to qualify the music-based intervention that are designed for children with dyslexia or related reading disabilities are very diverse. For example, we can find the terms music training, music education, music lesson, music curriculum, music program, and more to name the type of music-based intervention that will be used for this population. In addition to that, um, music-based interventions are conducted by a diverse range of professionals such as music therapists, music teachers, or even speech-language therapists. Those Variation in professions, as well as their degree, musical training, musical experiences, and domain, it all influenced the way music is used in the music-based intervention. Therefore, the aim of this review was to analyze the music-based intervention aiming to improve reading skills for children with dyslexia and related reading disabilities. So the research questions were as follow. What are the characteristics of the music-based intervention aiming to improve reading skills? And what are the reading skills improved through those music-based interventions? To do so, articles were searched using the terms music or music intervention or music therapy and dyslexia or learning disability or reading disability or reading skills. And those terms were searched through the electronic databases and also the major music therapy journals. Studies were included if they matched the following criteria. So regarding the participants of the studies, they had to be school age of from 6 to 14 year old and with or without diagnosis of dyslexia, with learning disabilities in reading and qualified as poor readers. Uh, regarding the intervention, the music-based intervention should be the primary intervention modality used in the study and also it should be uh, using live music. 
Regarding the comparison, it had to, the intervention had to be compared to a non-musical intervention or a traditional treatment intervention or to no intervention condition. Regarding the out outcomes, it should include measurements of the change that occurred in reading accuracy, reading fluency, and also reading comprehension. Uh, and all studies that will be selected are quantitative experimental research design with and without control group. This is the flowchart of the study selection process. So after removal of the duplicates, the titles and abstracts were screened and the potentially relevant record was full text examined. At the end of the selection process, nine studies met the inclusion criteria. Here are the results. A large diversity of terms used to qualify the music-based interventions were identified and categorized according to their characteristics. Interventions using interdependently the terms music program, music intervention, and music training were categorized in the music training. Other terms such as music activity and music curriculum where the intervention was conducted by a music therapist were categorized as music therapy. Then, music lessons category was used for the intervention uh, dominated by the term music lesson and with a music teacher as a provider of the intervention. So looking closely to the music training type of music-based intervention, we can see that it focuses more on rhythmic component of music through intensively repetitive tasks. So the rhythm there is used to enhance the auditory perception, phonological awareness and temporal processing. Music training uses exercises such as tapping, clapping, reproduction and differentiation of rhythm and tempi, exercises that integrate motor uh, modalities such as moving to the music, marching to the beat, and also rhythmic trainings integrate language components such as rhymes, poems, and prosody. Music therapy interventions are characterized by the use of a large diversity of active and passive musical activities with equally melodic and rhythmic components of music. It uses activities such as singing and the rhythmic chanting, reproducing and playing rhythmic and melodic patterns. Music therapy also integrates visual and auditory multisensory stimuli with the use of music instruments, sign language, visual card supports, etc. Music lessons are characterized by the use of a general learning of music theory and all practice based on a model of music education approaches integrating both melodic and rhythmic component of music. Music lessons comport comports exercises engaging memory, creativity, and motricity. The second question of this study was to know what are the reading skills improved through those music-based interventions, and all studies showed results in reading accuracy, with word decoding, word recognition, pseudo-word reading accuracy, and spelling. No study showed results in reading fluency, and only two studies showed results in reading comprehension, only the studies that were integrating multisensory stimuli. In conclusion, when analyzing music-based intervention for improving reading skills in children with dyslexia and related reading disabilities, we can see that Music training focuses more on rhythm to enhance auditory perception, phonological awareness, and temporal processing, and also it targets specific reading skills, mainly reading accuracy, as we saw. Music therapy uses diverse active and passive melodic and rhythmic activities combined with multisensory stimuli. It also targets specific reading skills.
However, music lessons represent general music learning within uh, educational approaches. However, it does not target specific reading issues. Music lesson was not an appropriate intervention for the reason that it did not target specific reading issues. But music therapy and music training were more appropriate intervention due to their target on improving reading skills. The main overall weakness of the music-based intervention is the lack of relationship between music and language in the composition of the intervention. In fact, only two studies integrated language components in their interventions. This shows a lack of specific use of music and its components in parallel to language component in order to address specifically reading skills issues for the children with dyslexia or related reading disabilities. A more rational selection of music elements is needed in order to assess the effectiveness of music-based intervention for improving those reading skills. So for future music-based intervention targeting the improvement of reading skills for children with dyslexia and related reading disabilities, it is important to take in consideration all parameters of reading disabilities in order to develop the intervention. Not only aiming to enhance the auditory perception, phonological rawness and temporal processing, but also address specifically reading accuracy, reading comprehension and reading fluency issues. The musical intervention should reflect the relationship between music and language by putting together musical components such as language component with multisensory integration. Thank you for your attention. I am Jenny Duflewis and if you have any questions, please send me an email to the following address.